Today we're starting a new series on called Flutter. Flutter is used to build mobile, web, desktop, and embedded applications. Mostly it is targeted for building iOS and Android application. And also with the recent version of Flutter, you can build pretty solid websites. Also a desktop application, including Linux, Windows, and Mac. So as you can see, Pretty much all the platforms are covered with Flutter. This is the first video of the series, so in which we are going to learn how do we create a project and how do we set up the iOS simulator after we create a project using Flutter SDK. So pretty excited for the series. Without further ado, let's get started. The show website for Flutter is flutter.dev. Once you get to the website, click on docs. Here is official documentation of Flutter. If you're interested in knowing everything available in Flutter, this is the place that you will get the information from. And in my tutorials, I like to refer official documentation just because I want to show you that where am I getting the information from and where you can go and learn on your own after watching this tutorial. So to start with the Flutter, you need to install the Flutter SDK. And here are operating systems that are supported by Flutter SDK. You can run Windows, Mac, Linux, and Chrome OS with Flutter. My uh, computer is a Mac, so I'll follow the Mac guide. But if you're on Windows, you are more than welcome to follow the guide from this website. It's pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is usually is download this Flutter SDK, update your environment variables on Windows, and then you should be able to access Flutter command from a command prompt. But in my case, Mac OS installation process is a little weird here because I have to clone the specific version of Flutter, like Intel version and Apple Silicon version. And also it tells me how do I update the path. But there is an easier way to install Flutter SDK. We'll go to a website, brew.sh. It's a homebrew package manager for Mac. All the Mac users are pretty familiar with this. So here I'll just find a Flutter. And then here you copy this command. So brew install that is cask Flutter. S go to your terminal and then you're gonna just paste that command there. And that will set up the Flutter SDK, including the path. Now you might be wondering where do you install this homebrew? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Brew.sh will have a script. So copy this script and install it. Then you can run a brew command on it. Now in my computer, if I go ahead and then type flutter and type doctor, you'll see it will see if this directory is a uh, flutter, um, flutter project. If not, then it's going to look for the dependency that are required for Flutter. So it's telling me I've got Xcode installed. I've got a Chrome installed for web development with Flutter, Android Studio for Android development. I've got IntelliJ IDEA, a VS Code, and there are two connected devices. So one is the OS iPhone and then the iPad. Now, because I can see the Flutter command, that means Flutter SDK is ready to go. And I can use this Flutter command to create a new project. To create a new Flutter project, you're gonna use a create command. So I'll use this Flutter create command, and then it requires a path. So I'll type dot slash Flutter underscore tutorial, enter, and it's gonna create this folder with the project in it. And once the project is complete, then I can use the code command to open the Flutter tutorial. Here's a fresh Flutter project, which has everything set up from iOS project to Android, to Mac OS, to Linux project, also web version of it. If you plan on using VS Code, I highly recommend to go to extensions and search for Flutter you're gonna install this Flutter extension, which will help you to write Dart code related to Flutter faster. Now let's go back to the code. You can run your project in the web by using Flutter 
run command and once you do that it's going to look for all the available devices like mac os in this case or a chrome browser if you have a simulator open then it will show you the simulator option as well so right now it says please choose one i'm going to be simply running this on a chrome so press 2 and enter and you can see it says waiting for connection from debug service on chrome there you go so there's a new instance of chrome was open from VS code and here is our first flutter application now we need to debug in VS code and that's really important to make your life a lot easier while debugging your application so go to this run and debug and then click on create launch dot json file above there you will have some options already available like flutter tutorial or flutter tutorial profile mode or release mode if you don't see those options you can click on dot and flutter and these options are available because you installed that flutter extension in vs code here you can use this flutter chrome that will have some configuration now you could basically debug your flutter by clicking on this play button now let's save this file and go back to main dot dot vs code you will notice there is a debug and play button on the top right this button i'm talking about you can click on that and it says two options start debugging run without debugging so click on start debugging once you do that it is going to start application in a debug mode so right now it says building Mac OS application. So we didn't really choose Chrome. We just went with the Mac OS uh, application, which will be compiled using Xcode. So another dependency is that you need to install. I'm expecting you to have some sort of like a basic mobile application development knowledge. Either it's from Ionic Framework or Native Script or React Native or even Native Xcode. So Android Studio and Xcode is must have. Now, right now you can see our Flutter application is running. Now I'm going to put it on the side here. And in the VS Code, this time what I'm going to do is do a breakpoint right here on counter and if i click on this plus button you will see the code will be paused at this stage and now you can see the current you know stack what's happening in the memory so this is how you're going to debug your application when it comes to using vs code you can debug on uh, the actual simulators but you're going to make sure that ios simulator is connected to your mac if not you can just use a virtual simulator or even better if you run your application in a chrome you can do a lot more now there are other things that we will have a separate video for so we have a flutter dev tool which are also very helpful when it comes to debugging so it says open dev tools in a browser it's going to use a Chrome browser and have all the uh, dev tools available. It's a pretty amazing stuff. You can go to debugger and what you can do is you can actually do a breakpoint right in the browser. So if I do a breakpoint here and I go to application and I just click on this plus button, you will see it is now um, pausing the code right here. And that's because we didn't really put a deeper uh, breakpoint in the VS code but we had that breakpoint in Chrome uh, in DevTool so there you go that's where it stops and you have all the controls like resume step over step in step out right in the browser I'm just clicking on resume and application will be resumed how cool is that so you got all the debugging capabilities right in your browser while you're writing code now at this stage we have learned how do we create a new Flutter project install Flutter SDK on a Mac OS. We also seen how do we set up a debugging in VS Code. All right, that was it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'm really excited for this series. There's a lot of knowledge coming if you're interested in Flutter. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Cheers.